How's it going boys, girls, and squirrels, and welcome back to the same exact background I promised you wouldn't see in the last video. I didn't get around to decorating, it turns out. Who could have seen that coming? Look, not only should I not have mentioned I'm gonna fix my room in the last video, but I certainly shouldn't have made it such a big part of my intro. You know, like I'm doing right now. I'm just coping, guys. <laughs> but none of that matters, because you don't come to my videos to judge my background. You come for Black Butler. And sometimes, if you're really feeling masochistic, my opinion's on it. So that's what we're gonna get into today. We're actually in the circus now, which is sick. I'm very excited to uh, check out this demonic circus. So uh, let's get into it. I'm afraid this area is off limits, my friend. That's what Wilde says, at least. I always hate when characters like this try and sound badass while talking for their pets, because they don't sound badass. They sound like a puppy owner. The only difference between this guy and your average dog owner is the fact that this guy isn't doing a silly voice while he does it. This area's off limits. That's what my snake says, isn't it? Isn't that what you say? You'll find the exit that way. Yes, that is correct, Geta. Oh, never mind, he does do silly voices. I take back what I said. That just made this character a hundred times better. I'm sorry, I thought he was trying to be a badass. It turns out he really is just a silly, goofy snake owner who loves his pets. Ta-ta now. Cheers, says Geta. Oh my god, I love him. Guys, I love him so much. However... Ciel? <laughs> Ciel! You are finally here! I have been waiting for so long! Oh my god, Soma's back? Why would Soma come back? We had two full seasons to come to terms with the fact that this accent was a horrible idea. And we're still doing it! Then Soma, Agni? You may be a bit confused by the appearance of these two. I don't blame you. If I may, I'll explain who they are and why they're here. Ugh, now I gotta get the full rundown on who these two are? I just watched their episodes. However, a blithe spirit like his is quick to rebound. My young master tricked him into minding the townhouse, and Prince Soma has been here since. Oh, he just straight up works for CL now? Damn, what a fall from grace. Soma was the one character who actually told off CL and lived, and now he's just a hired bitch. <laughs> I didn't expect to see you back at the townhouse so soon. You must have missed me very badly, huh? Poor CL, always lonely. Is it just me, or have the accents actually gotten more problematic? This white guy is laying it on thick. He, he is aggressively doing an Indian accent. This is your game, not mine. I am simply a piece on your chessboard, after all. Am I to decide my own moves? I suppose you're right. I like how Sebastian knows exactly how to manipulate CL. If you want CL to do literally anything at all, all you have to do is two things. Tell him it's a game and that he's the most important person who's ever lived. I don't know how to do anything like that. Oh no, I had always thought you seemed rather adept at moves like stay and fetch. Pardon? Oh! Damn, Sebastian! Keep roasting him like that and you're gonna be serving CL for dessert one of these days. Look, I know Sebastian's usually the one giving CL medical attention, but who treats his wounds when his butler's the one who burned him? That was vicious. That was vicious as hell. I wouldn't worry over much, though. Just do the best you can during her entrance test. I'll be ever by your side, just as any good butler should be. I'll be ever by your side, reminding you of the whipped little bitch that you are. Are you really sure that you're a boy, though? Quite sure. Yes, quite. Well, being adorable won't see you through a circus lad. Gotta have talent, too. Well, thankfully, Ciel is neither adorable nor talented, so I'm sure this is going to go terribly. So, what are you good at? I don't know. I'm good with darts, I suppose. Oh my god, I forgot that CL actually did have one single talent. Whoa, what a throwback to episode one. I never expected his dart throwing skills to ever come up again. <laughs> Ugh, never mind. I forgot CL's actual talent was pretending to have talents. Shall I throw another set? God, he really just keeps getting worse, doesn't he? Sebastian, stop enabling him. This kid canonically cannot tie his own shoes. Next we'd like to see... Your tightrope walking skills. Okay, but why? Feels good at throwing knives, just make him the knife thrower. 
It's not like every circus member is required to be good at all the roles. The circus is never like, hey Jim, I know you're the lion tamer, but Mike called out sick. Do you mind throwing some knives at Alice? Uh, yeah, kinda. I don't know how to throw knives. What if I hurt Alice? Oh my God, fine. What about Judy? Oh, hell yeah. I fucking hate Judy. <laughs> That's really tight. Tight is what you want. Less likely to die. Who's this fucking cream puff tying up CL right now? Is that your hair, a wig, or a bunch of whipped cream? Why do you look like a wedding pastry? It could also just be a bunch of white roses growing out of her head. Honestly, she sort of looks like a pretty zombie from The Last of Us. How's it coming? Don't be shy with those nuts, all right, doll? Don't be shy with those nuts, doll. Don't be shy with his nuts? No, nuts. You want me to grab his nuts? No, don't grab his nuts. Please, we'll get shut down. Grab them? Don't grab them. Please. No. We're ruined. <laughs> 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 oh, relax. Sebastian would never let you die. He got shot in the head two episodes ago, and you're completely fine. He's not gonna let anything hurt you. me. <laughs> oh, never mind. I mean, he won't let anybody else hurt you. You will absolutely be getting hurt. <laughs> Looks like this puppet passes all the tests then, eh, Joker? Not yet. I there's something of the utmost importance that you're missing still. Is it pizzazz? Because he's certainly lacking pizzazz. Yes, I'm talking about a big smile. Uh, what? I wasn't that wrong. We have some talented new mates joining our great show. Allow me to introduce Black. Hello, I'm Black. It is a pleasure to meet you all. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, you aren't. Then there's the wee one over here. Say hi to Smile. Sma I like how all they gave Sebastian was a little purple ribbon to tie around his neck. Meanwhile, CL looks like a pirate jester. Well, there was a, an accident. Uh, how terrible. And you're so young for such an awful thing to happen. That was actually kind of sweet. If he didn't touch CL with his gross skeleton hand, it would have been a little sweeter. But regardless, like, genuinely really nice moment. That's just cute. I like seeing two, like, injured folk bonding over their injuries together, you know? Yes, my lord. Oh, not my lord, though, is it? I must learn to call you Smile. If you got to touch more activity, your muscles wouldn't be so frightfully tight. I do Jesus Christ, Sebastian, take a breath. That was like three sentences all in the same breath. That was crazy. Felt like he was about to break into a Sweeney Todd song. Like, yes, my lord. Oh, no, not my lord, maybe. Though, my lord. Wait, stop. I, ju I like it just self-unlocked a memory. There is a My Lord song in Sweeney Todd. That was not my intention with that joke. But, like, subconsciously, I made the connection. Oh, yeah, that's right. You're a natural, aren't you? Go on, then, and try whatever you think you can manage, and I'll observe. Pretty well. I love that Sebastian is constantly hyped to show off. I can't tell what he loves more, being a butler or being a demon. That's right. Black is not the only new bright star to join our troop recently. Look, up there. He's a former civil servant or something. Oh, where is she? Give her to me. Give me Grell. And he's very serious. Hey, come on down here, would ya? Oi, suit! Oh, super not Grell. Way less exciting twist. Him being a Grim Reaper is kind of cool, but like not nearly as cool as if Grell just showed up. I'm not actually joking. I'm entirely serious. Very funny. Now let's move on. Introducing you to our newest newcomers. The little one is Smile and the big one's Black. I just wish people would say his name is Black. You know what I mean? It is hype that Sebastian and CL are like officially abducted into the circus now though. Like I can't wait to see CL bumble his way through a bunch of other acts that he does not have the talent for. It'll be like me and how I bumble my way through every one of my podcast episodes. Yeah, that's right. Plug in a different thing this time. Guess what? I have a podcast I don't plug often enough. You might think it's new, it's not. It's been going on for like six months now. I just never bring it up. It's pretty successful though, and it's also super funny. Podcast is called Otaku's Anonymous, where me and my co-host, NC Hammer 23, you may know, is a fairly massive Naruto-themed YouTuber. We talk about anime, video games, movies, whatever comes to our mind. It's a very ADD-addled podcast, um, but apparently, that's what a lot of people find charming about it. If you want to help support me and my channel's adventures, make sure you check it out. We've got like 
36 episodes out right now. The link to it will be in the description below. It's a great time. But if that's not enough extra content for you and you want to help support me and my channel in a more direct way, make sure you check out my Patreon where you get dozens of hours of exclusive bonus content, an exclusive reaction video each month, access to my own private Discord server, and access to all the live stream recordings I've done in the past and will do in the future. All of that bonus content can be found on my Patreon in the description below. I will also be adding all of the videos that get taken down by copyright. So if you missed my first ZOM 100 video, if you missed the two Jujutsu Kaisen season two videos I did, you can find those on the Patreon as well. It's just a ton of bonus content that is on par with the content I put out on this channel. It's not like lazy, half-assed extra content. It's true, genuine reactions to shows like Food Wars and Blue Lock. Subscribing to the Patreon helps me out a ton and ensures that I'm able to keep putting out as many videos as I do. And now, on to the next one. Why don't you go... Uh, Come on, look lively. We've got lots of work to do. If you don't practice, Black is going to show you up for oh, sure. Uh, right. Cheers. I like how you can see Sebastian get more and more sick of CL as the show goes on. Remember the days when Sebastian would haunt a dude just for patting CL on the back? Now a guy can put CL in a full-on stranglehold and Sebastian will just stand there and watch. Peter, Jumbo. <laughs> I spoke with Father. He said that we have not yet gathered enough sweets for the main event. <laughs> oh my god, big tone shift. So like... Zero chance these people aren't stealing children, right? Like, what else could that possibly mean? I just didn't expect them to reveal it already. I'm afraid you mistake me. I have no interest in cheap souls. My tastes are more refined. Fine words from a starving demon like yourself. Whoa, wait, what? What is this new Sebastian lore we're learning? Does he have to eat souls to survive? Also, I don't know what this dude's talking about with Sebastian being starved. This season started out with him killing a ton of people. Fan thinks Sebastian should be stuffed with souls right now. I would be happy to offer you my assistance. I hate this guy's weapon. It looks like a gardening tool. This looks like the weapon I'd expect my grandmother to use in a zombie apocalypse. That lot took it for a feeble jest earlier, but even so, if you can't blend in with the humans, then you're even worse than that ginger riffraff. The Grell disrespect? needs to stop. I won't be mocked by a man who can't even maintain his cover, Four Eyes. I'm not Four Eyes, thank you. My name is Suit. I can't tell if this guy's dumb or just really loves this circus. He's like so proud of the nickname the circus gave him. Tent assignments, <laughs> exciting, eh? Very. Hey now, what you doing looking so down in the mouth? Ugh, looking so down in the mouth. That was the grossest way I've ever heard somebody describe a frown. All right, the results of our totally random lottery. Smile, you're in tent number eight. And here is your flatmate. <laughs> Yo, this kid is sick! This dude looks like he could do a kickflip, no problem. He looks like he's got a Beyblade on deck ready to go at a moment's notice. As for you, Black, it's tent nine. <laughs> Sebat- You mean Black isn't in the same tent as I am? No, why on earth should he be? Um, because being around Sebastian is the only way CL knows how to be a functioning human. Unless you guys want CL walking around this circus with a pair of untied shoes, I suggest you throw his ass in Sebastian's tent. I'll just leave these lads to get all settled in. Uh, wait! Cheers! God, I hate CL's outfit. Look at him just standing there with his gangly ass limbs. He looks like a Mr. Mime. No problem if I take the top third, is there? Be my guest. That should work well. I fancy the bottom one myself. These two are so obviously voiced by the same woman, it's kind of hilarious. Maybe they're not, maybe I'm wrong, that's entirely possible, but it does feel like I'm listening to a woman have a conversation with herself. I'll give you one of these to celebrate you joining us. They're right tasty. Top of the line, Funtum Sweets. Those have to be drugs, right? Like, there's no way those aren't loaded with heroin. Nobody talks about candy like that. Oh, they're right tasty, they are. Top of the line, sweets. You know what my favorite thing about watching this show is? Every now and then, it lets me do my soap impression from Modern Warfare. Demons do sleep in point of fact, though it is purely for recreational purposes. What does that even mean? You sleep recreationally? What recreational fun can be found from sleeping? Maybe they do it as like a form of time travel. You know, you know what I mean? Like if they're bored during the evening, they just sleep and then all of a sudden it's day. 
It's like fast travel, but you stay in the same spot. You're acting surprisingly meek. I have no urgent need to leave. My master never ordered me to shadow the troop. I am a faithful dog. I follow his orders scrupulously. Wow, wildly out of character line from Sebastian. He would never call himself a dog. He hates dogs. That's one of the things I truly know about Sebastian. Excuse me, sir. Hmm. Please buy some flowers. Aren't they lovely? Yo, I would just open fire on this girl. Oh, Danny, what are you talking about? She's just an innocent child selling flowers at three in the morning. Do you hear yourself? This girl's absolutely going to murder this guy. Either that, she's just a horrible businesswoman. Who the hell is out here buying flowers at this time of night? Who, who sells flowers when the sun isn't up? The sole ingredient of growing flowers. I feel like it's like me selling pool floaties in the middle of the desert. I'm so happy. Mommy will be so proud, and I'll even be able to help pay for Jimmy's medicine. I can't wait to get back home. All right. So maybe she didn't murder the guy. Maybe she did actually need the money for her sick mom. And maybe I was a little out of line telling the cop he should unload a full clip into her. But you know what? Never hurts to be cautious. <laughs> Hello there, darling. Do you like circuses then? Wow, no ambiguity as to whether or not the circus is stealing children. I really thought they were gonna keep this mystery I guess a mystery for a bit longer than this. We're on episode three and we already found out that the circus is taking them. A bear? Can I help you, Mr. Bear? <laughs> oh my God, they literally drugged this little girl. <laughs> oh my God, they literally just killed this cop. This got so dark, so fast. This is wild. This is so crazy. I kind of love this. The presentation of this is so cool and so wildly disturbing. Like when it cut to that cop and he was just twitching on the ground, that was really cool. I love just before it, when he bonked him on the head and the streamers come up, like, it's just really cool. I, it, like, it's giving just enough of both sides of, like, the gore and the child delusion to work for me. I don't know, the streamers really did it for me. I, like, didn't need to see the cop's dead body. I just, like, like, you knew he killed him. She's just a lass. How could you? <laughs> How many times must I tell you? Yo, I'm so glad I skipped straight to season three. This is like such a spike in quality. The only bad thing though, is that boy oh boy do I not want to return to season one. So honestly, this might have been a massive mistake on my part. A lot of people wanted me to, to react straight to Book of Circus, like do the canon stuff in canon order and then go back and watch like the non-canon episodes. That idea kind of sucks now because this is so much better than what season one was offering. And I hear season two just blows entirely. So we'll see. We'll see, see if the mood takes me. Oh, done. Today's collection was over in a jiff. Now it's off to more entertaining pursuits. Oh my god, all of the Reapers use gardening tools? That's so funny. That dude's not a grim reaper, he's a grim mower. Oi, welcome to London. My name is the Grim Trimmer, it is. This won't do. You can't go on acting like I'm your master while we're here. Just leave me be. I understand completely. I'll begin straight away. I want Sebastian to just be like, Yes, master, I understand completely. I'll begin straight away. Out of the way, poopy dump butt! Hey, everybody! This kid doesn't wipe his butt! Here you are, enjoy. This kid rules. I love this kid. This kid is just having a blast with life, and I love him for it. Quite impressive. Right, I'm done. Huh? Time to head to practice. Let's go! Uh, already? Look, I don't like CL. And God knows he hasn't done anything to deserve me liking him. But something about putting him in rags and giving him an actual friend has done a lot to make him more palatable. 
Well, go on then. Oh, what's your back for you? Uh, outside in the middle of winter. And isn't that water quite cold? What'd you expect? Look, in Ciel's defense, and God knows I do not want to defend Ciel, this does look awful. I would rather rot in real time than ever take a cold shower outside during the winter. <laughs> God damn it, I almost forgot what kind of show this was. You're supposed to undress and then splash on the water. Don't say you wish he undressed before doing this. Would you kindly get off me? You're soaked already anyway. Might as well give in and scrub No, up. please, just leave me be. You're going to get a code in these wet things. Come on. God, this kid is fucking persistent. It seems I overestimated your fortitude, allowing such yes. trifles to bother you. Well, that isn't like you at all. It's so like him, are you kidding me? Seal's the type of kid who would have the sun executed for being too hot during the summer. Easy going is not the attribute I would use to describe him. But that is episodes 3 and 4 of Black Butler Season 3. So far, kicking ass. That, uh, that action sequence in this episode was crazy with the, with the bears and the cops. That went hard. I'm also just like... I don't know, I can't tell. I think I talked about this last video. I can't tell if it's the animation or genuinely if the writing's better. It feels like there's a nebulous, like just overall bump in quality. Like the writing does feel better. And it's also, I think it's because this is like a 12 episode arc or 10 or however. So like usually the arcs in Black Butler are like two episodes max and they wrap it up and it's like it's some new nonsense. This is really like the pacing is really doing it for me with this. They're taking their time. All of the like circus freaks are interesting to me. Like they're all creepy and weird and cool and funny. All of them except Cream Puff. Cream Puff sucks. <laughs> Cream Puff's the only one who hasn't done anything um, and also looks stupid. But yeah, I'm just like, I, I just am more engaged. And again, that could be because of the animation, but I do think that like the writing is better and the pacing is better. So yeah, let me know what you thought of these two episodes in the comments below. Let me know what you thought of this video and what your favorite jokes from this video were as well. And I will see you guys next time.